Hello Super Sentai fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. This is gorgeous. So today we are taking a look at the relatively newly released, it just came out back in June, uh, the SH Figure Arts Shinkocho Seho Gokai Red release. So I had to get this. I couldn't even kid myself that I wasn't going to buy this. I originally, like a long time ago, never would have considered it. Uh, but basically, this is a renewal version or a new version of the Gokai Red figure art uh, that originally came out in 2011, I believe, which I have one right here. I bought one of these used for like $10, which I actually have a video on my Patreon about this right now. So be sure to check that out and it will be on the channel eventually. Uh, basically, this one is, you know, not a good figure. It's needed an upgrade. I guess, and I, I mean, I never really, I don't really collect figure arts, he says, as he's done, this is now my third uh, figure art review in the last, like, couple months, and it's not my last, uh, but the, uh, yeah, I had to, I mean, how could I not, it's absolutely gorgeous, it was pricey, of course, it was available on Amazon US for a period of time, which I will be leaving an affiliate link to if that ever comes back, uh, but I got mine from HLJ, so this is part of figure arts' Shinkocho Seho line, which was a line that started with Kamen Rider, a good number of years ago where they basically take an old figure and re-release it, updated it, uh, make it all nice and pretty and expensive, and this is the first time that they've done this for Super Sentai, because uh, this is our, I don't even remember how many entries at this point in terms of them bringing Sentai figure arts back ever since they started that up again with Zenkaiger. Uh, they showed this figure in 2021. It was like part of a demonstration. They showed it there like with Zenkaiser, and they just didn't announce a release for it until 2023. But it was a retail release. It just was expensive. But let's take a look at it here. It has this gorgeous box with Gokai Red there. It's in the same style as the Shinkocho Seho uh, Kamen Rider releases, which is really, really pretty. Bandai Namco, Tomashi Nations, Bandai. On the side, you get this nice fancy Gokai Red, Gokai Red, SH Figure Arts, SH Figure Arts. And on the back, it looks really good. So they based this off of like the model. They got like the, they said something like they sculpted this off of the suit actor or something like that. So there he is with the Gokai saber and gum, activating the final waves. Oh, it's so pretty. So without further ado, inside there's just this little blurb about SH Figure Arts. You get this little piece of paper, SH Figure Arts Shinkocho Seho Gokai Red. There's just like safety stuff there, and then. Here he is. So somebody pointed out this kind of looks like the outline of like a ranger key buckle. I don't think that's necessarily the intention, but it does kind of look like that. So you get to, there's nothing on the, you know, other sides of this or anything like that. So in this tray, you get, I believe there are two trays. So you get this one tray with the figure, and then there's this tray here with all of the accessories, which I want to try to carefully take out of here. So as you can see, you get plenty and plenty of accessories. You get ranger keys, you get mobiruses, gokai saber and gun. But let's go ahead and take the plastic off. So I've had this for a couple weeks, I just haven't opened it until now. And we're gonna go ahead and take all of these plastic protective pieces and stuff off of it. And here he is looking gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. So here's a good look at him from the boots all the way up to the helmet. And it looks just like the suit. I, I am really, really impressed with this. Just all the detail. I love that they even have, like, look at all this detail on the boots. That's insane. So that is such good detail. You get the really pretty Ranger Key Gokai buckle there. Let's kind of get a zoom in on that so you can see it in nice detail. I know some people's were a little wonky, like this piece attached-wise. Uh, but it's good on mine. You get the black paint there. The Gokaiger symbol right there, it's pretty. You even get the black paint like in the sword edges down there. Beautiful gold trim. You get the Gokaiger logo on the collar. Wow. So I'm very impressed by this. Uh, so there's, of course, oh, that's too far. <laughs> of course, there's a ton of articulation points on here. So many different pieces of articulation. There's like a bunch of different waist joints and stuff in there. Uh, there's This piece can kind of move out of the way. His butt's sticking out now. What did I do? <laughs> it's a little skirt piece. I feel like the body construction is a little strange. Oh, he's got this like joint. Oh. Okay, so he's got like a movement there. Like back and forth like that. That's interesting. So let me kind of try to straighten him out as best as possible. But yeah, there's a lot of different ways for this to move. <laughs> for sure. Like that's a great ball joint. Wow. You can look up so far. Like, wow, this feels good. This is the nicest figure art that I've ever owned. I see why people collect these now. Oh man, oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. 
I love it. <laughs> I do not regret this purchase at all. Oh, this is so good. All right, we're going to put him back there because I want to take a look at the accessories. So I'm not going to take all the accessories out because I don't want to lose them. But uh, we do have, let's take a look at the saber. Look at this gorgeous Gokai saber. Yeah, reasonably sharp. But like the detail, let's zoom in on this again. Look at that. It's immaculate. And the, the little barrel. I don't know how you get it to move, but I know it can. So I know you can do the final wave uh, barrel movement, but there's that. Gokai gun, the same. Let's kind of try to, there we go. So they even have that molded in there. Like this looks exactly like the Memorial Edition, just shrunken down to a really tiny. They even have the trigger painted and stuff. That's insane. Let's take a look at it. Eh. Oh my God, it's the tiniest Ranger key. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, when I was pretending in, in line to myself that I wasn't going to buy this, oh, I was like, do I need it? And then people were like, it has a tiny ranger key. Of course you do. And it has it in a bunch of different modes. There's one, it looks like there's one for the saber and one for the gun. That's technically inaccurate there where it has the legs painted on both sides. That's actually inaccurate, but... Or, not the legs, but like, I don't know why that's just black on the back. But you do get really tiny keys. You get an opened and closed Mabirts really really nice i know there's a hand i don't know which one it is specifically but there's hands for holding the keys i love that detail but i probably aren't gonna i'm probably not gonna mess with that too much because it's super super tiny but wow this is definitely an impressive release uh, significantly an upgrade over this guy uh, in fact let's go ahead and take him out of the box and just kind of do a brief comparison so it's uh, really not a contest here so this is this is basically an upgrade in every single first you know possible way every single possible comparison like this looks pretty bad in comparison, and then this figure is notorious for breaking. Mine has super loose legs. I'm sure it will just shatter one day, and I only bought it just for this exact part of this video, and also because it was like $10, and it came with the Gokai Darin, which this one does not have. So like, you know, I, there's really no point to this. I know a lot of people want them to do the entire team of these now, and I can definitely see why. Will I buy all of them? I don't know, but I can't afford figure arts, but here we are. Uh, but like the helmet is bigger, like the figure is just bigger. He just looks so thin. The symbol is more bigger and everything. The, I think the color is more accurate to get better paint, of course, better articulation, a better construction. So much better. And like even the swords and stuff. So like this one is the new one, right? And here's like the old sword, which is like not bad. But like you see how much shinier this one is? Like, and it's a, uh, is it longer? They're, they're very similar in size, but this one just is cleaner. It's just so much nicer and shinier. And so, like, there's still, like, good things about this one, you know, for it being a 10-year-old figure art. I mean, it was good at the time, but it's just not good anymore. And this one is just so, so nice. I love it. <laughs> Tremendously. A lot. And uh, just kind of a good comparison here, uh, just because I'm sure some people are going to be curious. Here's what it scales with in terms of a Lightning Collection figure. So I just have Dino Thunder Black here. So it is a little shorter than a Lightning Collection figure. It's not going to scale perfectly with one. It's not necessarily a six inch figure. So that's not perfect, but you know, there's something you could got, if you get into a pose and everything, I'm sure you'd be able to kind of ignore it, but I cannot recommend this figure more. It is gorgeous. All right, and with that, that is going to do it for my video review of the SH Figure Arts Shinkocho Seho Gokai Red release. If you are a fan of Gokai Jir, a figure arts collector, anything, you need this. You need this release so, so much. If you have the original release, I think it's definitely worth the upgrade. Of course, if you don't have the original release, track this one down. It's going to go so nicely with other figure arts like Zen Kaiser, Damo Motaro, Kurogata Oji. We're getting a lot of them at this point. And for being my favorite Sentai show, my one of my favorite tokusatsus ever, my favorite character in tokusatsu probably ever, an, an actor I absolutely love. I needed this in my collection. I'm totally, totally happy that I bought it, and I can't wait to put it on display uh, next to my Gokai Silver from the original line and my two Kaisers, so it's going to look really nice over there. So, of course, until next time, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below about your thoughts on this figure. Did you pick it up for your collection? Are you trying to get one? Did you get one when it was on Amazon for a very brief amount of time, which was crazy? Um, like I said, I will include a link to it in the description below on Amazon Affiliates, but I don't know if it's going to be back in stock ever or anything like that, but if you can try to get your hands on one of these for a good price, I paid like 70 for mine, uh, that's uh, kind of where you should kind of try to aim for, 60, 70 ish dollars, but that's going to do it, so of course until next time you guys can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or LandingFickBR, and I will see you all later.
To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons, Jurassic Samurai, Maggot Alchemist, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Oberland, Maji Yellow, MCPC Studios, Comics 1017, James Darty, Eric Berry, Tyler Bozetsky, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, CPT Tesla, Cross SCV, Caboose Ed, Socket Monsters, Anthony Love, Daniel Pika, Hella Geo, Thrasher, Jesus Prime, Uni Warrior Thomas, and Lewis Carnes. You can support Toku Topics for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.